So I tend to post a lot of beginner guides on my channel for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects for Fortnite montages, but I don't often post advanced tutorials and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be teaching you how you can edit your very own Fortnite montage for advanced editors inside of Adobe After Effects. I originally was going to make this inside of DaVinci, but I figured that DaVinci is kind of that beginner block step when it comes to editing and Adobe After Effects is almost like graduating that process of your editing career. So if you are new to Adobe, but you have other understanding with Fortnite editing, you're going to be able to do just fine with this tutorial. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I'm not going to take up more time. Let's get right into the video. All right. So what we're going to do starting off is we're going to boot up After Effects, obviously, because that's what we're editing the montage in. And to be honest, I haven't edited a montage in After Effects and I don't even know how long. It's been a while. Uh, actually, no, it's been like a month. I, I edited a OG montage back in After Effects when the OG season first released. Uh, but what we're going to do to start off is we're going to name it whatever. So we're going to do final Fortnite AE or something like that. And 20 seconds is fine. So like you guys know, since this is an advanced guide, I don't have to talk to you guys like you don't know what you're doing. The first two things you're going to drag in are your song as well as your clips. Yes, you guessed it. So song and clips. So we're going to drag in our song. Then we're going to go to wherever we have our clips and I'm going to be using practice clips from my brand new editing pack. And quickly before I get into the tutorial, I want to quickly mention my brand new 2024 ultimate editing pack that I literally just released. And this pack includes absolutely everything you could possibly need for anything involving editing, content, etc. I have over a hundred different Fortnite presets as well as stuff for your content, TikTok and YouTube automation library, video and audio memes, practice clips for Fortnite, practice footage for editing your own videos, literally anything you could ever imagine. I don't have the link to actually go check it out down below. So make sure to go check it out. It literally costs less than a McDonald's meal. And you're going to be able to make so much money from these different presets to actually edit your own stuff or edit client stuff. But I don't want to take up any more time. So go check it out using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. Let's get right back to the video. So since you're back from hearing about what a great pack I just released, just go check it out, dude. Doesn't hurt. But anyways, starting off, we're going to drag in our song. Press L on our keyboard twice so we can see the audio waveforms. And we are just going to drag it over to the left a bit. So the cool thing about this is I already have markers on here. But like you guys can see, After Effects gives us the waveforms. And we press L on the keyboard twice. So L, L. That'll pull up our waveforms. So these are going to be our syncing points. So basically, I'm going to quickly show you syncing. It's super basic. But we can see we got a double edit, 187. We're going to double click on our, any clip we want to preview. Find the kill, press this little out marker after the kill, press the in marker after. Then we're going to bring it over ish towards the kill. Use our arrow keys. For me, it's control arrow key to actually do this. Um, but this is our first frame where we get the kill. So we're going to add a marker to it, line it up with the beat syncing marker. And just like that. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to do the exact same thing here. Go to the right, go to the left, drag this in, find the kill, which is where the siphon hits our player. Drag it on the left, drag it on the left, sorry. And that's all we really need. So I'm going to get rid of this excess. But so that's how you do syncing. Super, super easy. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do time remapping. So time remapping, super simple. The rule of thumb for this is I kind of go wherever like a player pulls out a shotgun or pulls out their sniper before they snipe someone or they pull out like a deagle before they shoot someone. You just kind of want to go for like this right here where they have their gun out or they're aiming the gun at someone. You kind of just want it like that. So we're going to split the layer right there by pressing control shift D. I'm going to duplicate the layer so I can disable the audio on the top layer. And we're going to disable the video on the bottom layer. So even if we time remap this top layer, the audio from the original clip itself is going to stick. So nothing's going to change in terms of that. So from there, I'm going to press alt control alt T add a marker to the beginning, add a marker to the kill, add a marker to the end or a keyframe. I should say we're going to select all of them, press F nine and go into our graph editor. Literally copy this. It's going to be the easiest time remapping of your life. Bring this slightly up, bring this slightly down, bring this halfway up, 
bring this down a little bit, bring it to the right, drag it up. That's a bit too harsh, so we're going to bring that down. And I'm going to do that, bring this down. And that should be good. So that's our time remapping for the first. Now we can see our player pulls out like the shotgun right here. I'm going to split this, duplicate it by pressing Control D, disabling audio on the top layer, disabling video on the top, keyframe at the beginning, keyframe at the kill, keyframe at the end, select all of them, F9, graph editor, zoom in, bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down, bring it over, bring it up, bring it up. Oh. too much so there you go perfect all right so just like that time remapping is done and what i'll do on the top layer is i'll enable uh frame blending just to make it look good a little smooth that's that so now moving on to effects what we're going to do press Control alt y to actually add an adjustment layer and we're going to navigate to where we have the free presets down below so for example we got clean impact 2 okay so once it's actually loaded in press u on our keyboard we're going to select all these keyframes and we're going to line up that second keyframe with the kill and trim it before the kill go to the very end trim it after so these are my personal presets that i use in my own stuff these are like the free versions but trust me my actual edit pack i have stuff that's a lot better than that and then we got my essential impact which I'm also going to drag in on the second kill. Drag in that second keyframe, line that up. And that's that, dude. It's just, it's insane. Now for a buildup, it's going to be the opposite. Just apply the buildup preset I have down below there. But lastly, transitions go between the two clips. Press Control alt y and then you're going to find one of the transition presets I have down below, like a swipe right. And then that third keyframe, you're literally just going to line it up. I usually bring these in a little bit to make it more harsh. And it's that simple. A little swipe right, and just like that. That's how you do an advanced montage. But if you guys did enjoy, you learned something, like, comment, subscribe, go check out my editing pack, low price of $10. Massive shout out to you guys. We're super close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not already, make sure you drop a sub. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.